Hey everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos from Mac tips, backend, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. Time to share what I've learned, and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up foot IK using virtual bones. In my last couple of videos, I showed the basics of animation retargeting with an asset from the marketplace and the other from Mixamo without adding the foot IK as I wanted to cover both setup in this video. You can check out previous videos that I'll link down below. First, we'll start with the Blade Warrior character, which has UE Skeleton Bone Hierarchy and Naming, and fix the foot IK. Then we'll move on to the Miximo character, which has a different bone structure and adds some foot IK as well. Let's go. So just a quick recap. This is that project where we have that uh, Blade Warrior character. You can see the foot IK happening here. And if I switch to the other Maria project here, you can see the same thing. And it's more obvious as she's wearing heels. Cool. So first let's uh, fix the Blade Warrior uh, setup here. So what I want to do here is go to the content drawer, look for the Infinity Blade Warriors folder, characters, and then completed characters. And then look for the skeleton. So for the skeleton here, click on the character here to show all bone hierarchy. You would see that there's already an IK foot root here and IK foot left and right. But when you see this hollow dot on the skeleton hierarchy here, that means that bone is not being used by the mesh. So if you highlight this, this would say this bone exists only on the skeleton but not on the current mesh. So that's not what we want. If I go back to the, let me snap this here. If I go back to the content drawer and inspect the mesh for the, uh, the, the skeleton for the UE5 mannequin, you would see that there's a IK foot root and IK foot left and right uh, bones in here. You would see that they are showing at the bottom there. If I go here and say walk and preview that, you would see that those bones, the IK foot left, is moving along with the balls of the feet. So that is what we want. So if I jump here, um, we need to do the same setup. So what we could use is what's called virtual bones. So virtual bones are bones that follow the transform of another bone. So to, do, to add that, um, go on the root, right click, and select add virtual bones. And then select which bone uh, you want to target. So for this one, we want to do the foot left first. And we'll create that record for you. And it will show here on the view as well. And then do the same thing for the other foot. Right click, add bone, add virtual bone, and then select uh, foot right. There you go. Save that. And next thing is we want to go to the rigs here for the UE5 mannequin. There's already a CR mannequin basic foot IK. So we don't have to recreate the whole thing. We just want to duplicate this and say call this CR and then warrior and I'm gonna move that inside my rigs folder let me expand this yep move it here go to the rigs folder open that up you will see first that the mesh is not right it's still using the UE5 mesh here so to refresh that uh, right click on the root here then select refresh select a mesh and then select the character that you want and quickly save that so here let's go zoom into the graph here so there's some bones here that we need to specify so first is the one that doing the line trace so where the foot is the virtual bone or the IK bone where it is, it needs to check how far it is from the ground, if it's hitting the ground. Um, so right now it's set as the IK foot. 
because this mesh has that bone but it's not used anywhere so we need to replace that with the virtual bone which is created and then do the same for the other bone so for the right bone and update that and that should be it for that one and then the step two would just interpolate uh, the, the location of that bone of which one is higher or lower and then step four is doing the offset for the pelvis so here it's going to do the modify transform here so we need to replace this as well with the location of that uh, virtual bone and do the same thing for the other bone for the right one and here the bone that it's going to modify is the pelvis which is right because it's um, this character has the same naming as the UA5 and then here is where the full body IK would happen so here we need to swap this get transform bone to the location of the virtual bone and similar here and everything here should be fine and uh, compile save and so somehow the foot is uh, higher that's because we haven't hooked it up so to hook it up go to the animation and right now it's called um, this one so I'm gonna rename it to ABP warrior I'm gonna open it up and from here from the anim graph on the main state before the output follows drag and say control rig and for the control rig here on the control uh, class select the warrior we just created uh, hold on and then we want to enable the input which is the show should do IK trace so we only want to do an IK trace when our character is not falling and set that to true compile save and let's do that again now let's check at the feet so the feet is now hitting the ground and if we go to a ramp you would see that the foot IK is now working so let's go higher here on the slope cool so there you go so that's how you fix the foot IK now let's do the same thing for the Mixamo character which is a little bit different so here if I go to the Maria character mesh and look for the skeleton we need to do the same thing with the bone here so go on the root right click and select virtual bone this time search for the left foot and do the same thing virtual bone and search the right foot and we hit save on this one and that should be it next let's go to the mannequin folder again and go on the rigs look for the basic foot IK duplicate that and let's call this Maria I'm gonna move this to the rigs here now go and open that control rig so we'll do the same thing we're gonna replace the mesh so right click refresh select a mesh select that and so now we need to replace the bones so you can see here it's highlighted as red because this mesh doesn't have those bones um, so if I click here there's a bit of a bug here where I have to click multiple times so if I just search v VB replace that with the uh, left foot do the same here file save and nothing to do with the interpolate here that should be fine but we need to do the offset for the 
pelvis uh, here as well. So here, change the IK foot left. Yep, and do the same thing for the right. So I had to click multiple times. I think this is a bug. I'm not sure why this is happening. So VB right foot there, and for the modify transform here, because this character doesn't have a pelvis, it's called hips. We need to change this to hips. Cool. Compile, save, and then going down to the last step, the full where it does the full body IK. So we want to get the virtual bone position. Do the same thing here. And then for the full body IK, we need to change the root here to hips. And then for the effector, the actual bones that it would move, it's not called foot L here. So we need to change that to left foot. Oh. And do the same for the other foot here, right foot. And hopefully that should be it. If I compile, there should no be no warnings. Hit save. And let me close that out. Next, going to the animation here. Uh, animations folder. Open the animation blueprint. And we'll do the same thing. So from here, before the output post, drag out control rig. And set that to the Maria character. Uh, enable the should foot should do IK trace and drag out the is falling here. This is not boolean. Connect that, compile, save, and let's give that a go. So fit looks planted, and now it's doing the foot IK. So let's try it on ramp here cool there you go so that's how you would fix the foot IK using virtual bones um, hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now